Okay. So several things have come to my attention over the past many months. And to be quite frank, I am disappointed in humanity even further. Now first and foremost, we have the people who insist that if you are using cap locks, it is shouting. Now, there are some people who annoy me who speak in all caps locks all the time. Ugh, no. Okay. So, there are also people who somehow repeatedly hit the caps lock button while typing. So they have just capital letters and lowercase just side by side by side by side by side and it's just disgusting. But that is not even the tip of the iceberg today. We are going to be speaking of some terrible things and further pet peeves that I have. Oh yes. But the caps lock thing is pretty much the pet peeve of the day. Whereas what we're going to talk about next is just failures. Now this person, if you remember my last epic rant video, <clears throat> who spelled want with an apostrophe, want apostrophe T, um, as one might say. So, my thing is this. I have seen some pretty bad misspellings in my time, and they're usually a big words. I mean, the differentiation between two, two, and two, that's one thing. But when you misspell waffle, or coffee, and you're someone who's, who's going to college and who's, who's so, so adamant about how intelligent they are because they got into college kind of thing, No. <laughs> oh, goodness. Waffle. Spelled W-A-F-F-L-E. Misspelled. And completely pronounced differently afterwards. To misspell waffle is one thing, but to spell it wall-fail. W-A-L-F-A-L-E. So they wanted to have, they were, they had uh, wall fails and coffee for breakfast. And a apple, not an apple. Now, the whole a apple thing, um, as opposed to using an, uh, can get on my nerves from time to time. Um, so, let me just put it this way. Coffee does not have an I in it. C-O-F-F-E-E. -E. That... Yeah, that's that's coffee. Okay. C O F F I E E. That is not that <clears throat> in fact is an insult. Coffee is exactly as it needs to be. Six letters is all you need. So let's just let's just be very, very simple with this. Waffle. Okay. I don't care how intelligent you think you are, but you're an idiot. Wall fail. Wall fail. Does that... Does, does waffle sound like wall fail? No. No, it does not. Coffee. Coffee. Sounds the same. Maybe to, to a first grader you'd be good. But, when you are someone who claims to be getting a higher education, <clears throat> who has an issue with the fact that I got a GED and they got a diploma, and yet here you are, you're, you're, you're saying, wall fail? There's a reason you're not an English major. That's obvious. Okay. Going on to the next one. Um, earthquakes. Now, 
I will be I will be putting up a link somewhere to maybe a photo bucket of some sort so that people can see what I'm talking about when I say earthquakes. There is someone I know who, no matter how many times I type the word earthquake, because if you recall, um, I can't remember how long ago, but it was on the east coast of the United States, the earthquakes that occurred. They were talking about that and speaking about how the government could prevent the earthquakes. That did no. I'm I'm sorry, but earthquakes is one thing. But how can how can how can a human-based entity prevent a natural disaster? Like there are precautions against natural disasters, but one cannot prevent a natural disaster such as that. I don't care how many sensors and whatnot you say our government has and how everybody's watching it. The government cannot prevent an earthquake. And please, for the love of God, if I'm speaking proper English and I'm spelling things out correctly and you're not sure about your spelling, maybe you should try to emulate what the heck I'm saying because of the fact that you're only making yourself look like an idiot and then to post it on the internet is only making you look even worse. Oh, oh goodness. <clears throat> and this next one, and this one is... <coughs> People disgust me. Let's just put it that way. The word... Come. C-O... M E now consistently and this is where it gets this it gets mature rating here so if you'd like to stop watching if you are young feel free please do the word come um commonly referred to as the point of climax or orgasm during sex um, C-U-M is the common spelling for that, to differentiate between saying come here and saying come here. <laughs> as awful as that is, there are a lot of people, and this is the terrible, terrible thing about it, is is people will somehow think that using C-U-M is short for C-O-M-E. So when they say, come here, or come see me, to people who, who differentiate between the two, that's kind of strange. It's weird, and it is disgusting. So that all being said, let's try to use C-O-M-E. One letter. One letter, okay? C-O-M-E. Okay, three letters is one letter less than four, so it's not short for it. If you're going to say C-M, or even C-O-M, if you're exceptionally lazy about it, but not C-U-M. Because that's just vulgar. And quite frankly, we don't want to be anywhere near you. <coughs> so today, what have we learned? If I talk in caps lock, even if I put all my subtitles of what I'm just monotonously speaking, I don't even think that's a word, in this monotone voice that I always speak in, if I typed all of my subtitles in caps lock and you muted it, do you still think I would be shouting? Okay. Misspelling is a terrible, terrible thing. Um, especially 
when you should know better. Simple words. I mean, I've, I've been verbally battered because I use such big words, and then I tell these people, that big word of yours only used six letters. Okay. So, waffle. Six-letter word. Turns into a seven-letter word. Wall fail. Okay. Disgusting. Coffee has no I. And please, for the love of God, spell out the word come like a real person. I don't care how old you are. But, you know, four letters, it's not that much. Even in a text message, it's not that much. I type out all the words in a text message in full with proper punctuation and everything. And while I may be an exception to the rule of speaking in text, it'd still be nice if someone would return the favor. But that's not what I'm asking. I'm just asking you not to use come instead of come. That's it. That's all. You can say your BRB, LOL. You can use C instead of the word C doesn't bother me, but just leave the word come alone. You're not in a porno, and if you are, more power to you, but don't text it to me. Have a good day, everyone.